Have you ever wanted to learn to cook but just didn't know where to start? Well, we're the guys from Sorted Food and we've teamed up with Co-op to create Now Cook It. A free online course to show you how to up your food game. So head over to Now Cook It to get started. But for now, check out this video from the course. Berry brownie in a mug. You're about to learn how to bake. But get ready, because blink and you will miss it. It's so easy. All you need is a mug, cappuccino style if you've got one. If not, you, can get, oh, you can get away with any other coffee cup or large ramekin and a tablespoon. That's about it. That's it. Well, and a microwave and an oven and some ingredients. What you need to do first is place about a tablespoon of butter into our mug. Like that. Softened is going to make life easier. If not, we have got the microwave. It'll soften it. Two tablespoons of brown sugar and 50 grams of dark chocolate. Most bars come in 100 gram bars, so all you need is half of it. And then this is where a microwave comes in handy, because what we want to do is melt the butter, chocolate and sugar all together. If you haven't got a microwave, you can do it in a small glass bowl over a pan of simmering water, but about an 800 watt microwave, about 30, 40 seconds. Lots of abouts there. Now, I know what you're thinking. This is just another one of those silly gimmicks to trick me into cooking. Well, no, it's actually an amazing recipe that tastes incredible. An incredible brownie, which is why we are actually going to bake it rather than finish it in the microwave. So we're going to preheat an oven to 200 degrees Celsius. It's probably the longest part of this recipe, waiting for your oven to come up to temperature. Be careful when you take things out of the microwave, depending on what your cup is made of. That might also get hot. This one doesn't, but some do. And then we just want to mix this until it's equally combined. I don't know why, but because it's in a mug, I just want to drink that. Yep, maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe you should. Maybe that would be too naughty. Wait till we've baked it. One egg is going to go in, and you kind of want to whisk that in. Well, I say whisk, you're just going to mix it in with the spoon, but combine it relatively quickly, because if your chocolate and butter is too warm, it could scramble. Same spoon, one tablespoon of flour, and one of cocoa. Next up, we're adding our raspberries. Now, just a handful of these. You could use frozen ones or you could just use jam. The fresh ones are better, though. Chocolate and raspberry, a classic combination and one that works. You want about two tablespoons in total. It's one and a half and two. Mix these in and don't worry if they smush up a little bit. It has an amazing effect on the brownie. It kind of lifts the whole thing and makes it taste so much more fresh. Brownie done. However, before we cook it off, we probably just want to wipe around the edge because those bits will burn. And that's it. That is now going to bake at 200 degrees Celsius for 14 or 15 minutes. It will rise up slightly, but it should be still a little bit wobbly in the centre. If you really can't wait for 15 minutes, then you can microwave it for two and a half, but it's not nearly as good. Whether you've baked it in the oven or cooked it in the microwave, give it four or five minutes to rest up after it comes out. And remember, because it's been in there, even the handle is super hot. Don't burn yourself. Finish it with a few fresh raspberries, a dusting of icing sugar, and for a special treat, even a dollop of vanilla ice cream. But that is everything you need to know to make a berry brownie in a mug. Oh, I thought we were going for Ben and Barry's berry brownie. Ben and Barry's berry brownie. I like that. Let's do that. In a mug. <laughs> it's a seriously big portion for one or ideal to share. Whoa. You've got that nice kind of spongy bit on the outside, the brownie, the kind of cracked top and the gooey centre. You know what I mean by it feeling light? That's what it's all about. Kind of popping of berry, oozing of chocolate. The freshest chocolate brownie I've ever had. It's very easy. You don't even have to weigh anything out, but if you want the full recipe and details, you can get it down below. <laughs>